It's the final month of the school year, May. And for some of these students, they will be walking the halls at Westlaco High School for the very last time. How each senior got to this point in their lives is unique and different. And some stories are more profound than others. Welcome everybody as we honor our honored graduates of class of 2018. All of the students that are here are being recognized because they were able to maintain a grade point average overall of 90 and above. Round of applause for our honored graduates. The final weeks of senior year are filled with events like the honors banquet. Next, we have Janelle Guerrero. She's accompanied by Viana and Jasmine Moncada. She plans to attend Texas A&M University, major in computer science, and she's a foundation scholarship recipient. For Janelle Guerrero, she is having to go through these ceremonies and celebrations on her own. One of her goals was to stay alive long enough to watch Janelle graduate. And we all felt like we had like three or four more years. It was the summer of 2017 when Janelle's mom's health started to take a turn for the worse. She was battling cancer. Um, we all knew that at that time. And um, I think she was looking for a friend to open up to uh, and to confide in some things uh, that she was going through. And so um, I was that friend. Nelda Martinez, Janelle's mom, had been a bilingual teacher at Westlaco ISD for 34 years. Her best friend and colleague was second grade teacher Leanne Van Tilburg. I would do research on the internet and um, find out about just the type of cancer that she had um, and uh, the longevity that she would have, the diagnosis. Um, I did tell her, you know, you're, the cancer is it's not curable, but it's treatable. So we're gonna treat this and we're gonna fight this and friends don't let friends fight alone. Leanne was there helping her through her treatments. She was trying to get healthy, but during the summer, right before Janelle's senior year, her mom passed away. She was gonna be alive for Janelle to graduate and to start college and, and we felt like she had more time. Nelda was a single parent with no relatives in the valley and Janelle's older brother away at school, Janelle would start her senior year without any parental guidance. She's one of my students that I needed to watch over this year. I felt like um, there's a lot of people here on campus who are angels for certain students and I felt blessed to be an angel for her. Counselor Patricia Gonzalez and social worker Elva Ray stepped in to help. We ended up going to her uh, rosary. We went, we were there for her. Spoke to Janelle um, that day, she seemed fine. Shortly after that, she had to take uh, her test, her ACT test for school. I was told not to take it. Like, just stay home, like, don't do it. But, I don't know, I kind of felt inspired. Like, to keep going. I kept telling her, you don't need to take it. You know, they're going to have an opportunity again. There's no way you need to, this is such a, a full-on effort. You know, you, you, there's no way you can, you're ready to do it. She insisted that she was. She was like, no, that's not going to change. I'm still going to do that because my mom would want me to do that. So just two days after her mom passed away, Janelle took the most important test of her high school career, a college entrance exam, the ACT. She had a goal in mind and she was going to reach that goal and she always told us, you know, my mom is, is there rooting me on. She's my number one cheerleader and she feels her presence still. Janelle may have lost her mom, but she was not alone. So the first thing that I did was I opened my house for her, telling her that you're welcome into my home. You will always have a meal. You'll always have a bed, um, washing machine, you know, laundry machine, everything. You'll always have everything that you need. I didn't know how she would feel going back into her home without her mother there. Janelle stayed with the Van Tilburgs for a while, but eventually went home. 
She turned 18 during the school year and was living alone. I just write like important events down, um, things that I have to go to, like my banquets. Or like the Her focus, finishing school strong. Her schedule, filled with AP and dual enrollment courses. Her goal, get accepted to Texas A&M so she could be with family in the Houston area and her brother, who was already enrolled at the school. You know, with the loss of her mother, I thought maybe she would just drop her classes, maybe not pass, uh, maybe not go to Texas A&M and just maybe stick around here because it's easier, but um, she didn't. She, she took it upon herself to continue to study. I have my honors sash and my National Honor Society stole. It's been a difficult senior year for Janelle, but with the memory of her mom always with her, she has persevered. If I ever feel like, like unmotivated or lazy to do something, I just like suddenly get the urge to like, you know, get it done. And I kind of think about it like, like what, what would she want me to do, you know? So I think a lot of my, a lot of my uh, motivation, I guess, is derived from like wanting to, I guess, please my mom. Uh, wanting to do things for her. That motivation has carried Janelle to a senior year success story for Westlaco ISD. Her grades remained high and that ACT she took just days following her mom's passing? Well, she earned an excellent score that helped her receive a full academic scholarship to Texas A&M. It felt good especially knowing that I got into the School of Engineering. Uh, I know she would have been like really proud of me, especially knowing that I probably won't have to pay for college. In, in the midst of everything, you gotta give her credit because she stayed very focused. And a lot of times when tragedies like this happen, people might turn it into something very negative and allow it to bring them down and they become less motivated. But instead, uh, this inspired her. She's just an awesome individual. Mm -hmm. She got through this traumatic event, you know, the loss of a loved one, whether family member or friend or anyone, you know, at her age is just so traumatic, but she is um, way beyond mature, over, you know, beyond her years. She's just 18 years old, but she is a trooper. She is uh, someone that's gonna be successful. And I know somewhere down the line, she's gonna help others as well. She's an awesome inspiration to us all here at Westco High School. Sometimes it's very sad that she doesn't have her mother with her. And then sometimes I think, my goodness, look how strong she's become because of this tragedy. And um, I think her mom is just smiling down, just so surprised and so proud of her for the wonderful choices that she's making and just the wonderful young woman she's becoming. For KWS TV, Carlos Robledo.